you can be really far away, but you can see that the plant needs to be watered. I see. And it will water itself. All right, so it's just like, oh, for your information, I'm watering the plant now. <laughs> yes, <it>? exactly. <laughs> Hi, I'm Shuan and welcome to The Library Report, a series where we meet interesting personalities and explore captivating stories from within and beyond our libraries. Now, do you like tinkering and creating your own gadgets? Are you a fan of customised, elegant solutions? If so, there is a very special place at the library where you can bring your DIY ideas to life. I want to give my friend a plant, but I want to make sure that it matches the aesthetic of her home and also a little something extra. So I'm here at Tampines Regional Library to create a customised, automated plant watering machine. Yes, you heard right. There is a maker space here called Make It at Libraries where DIY fans can tinker around to their heart's content. I actually haven't done this before, so I hope someone will be around to help me. <laughs> Hi guys! Hi! Hi, I'm Shuan. I'm Hakim. I'm Wankin. Nice to meet you. And can I just say, how many machines are there in here? Yeah, we have a lot of machines at the Make It. Uh, we have 3D printers, we have uh, laser cutters, we have digital cutters, we even have sewing machines. So there's a lot of things that you can do here. That's a huge variety. Okay, so I am actually thinking of giving my friend a plant, but she is not very good at remembering to water them, so I was thinking... So you need something that can water the plant by itself? Yes, correct. But then we also need it to like match the aesthetic of our home. Okay, we definitely can do that. We just need to do coding mm -hmm. and 3D printing and I'm pretty sure we can make that happen. I love how you said, we just need to do coding and 3D <laughs> printing. I have no idea how you do those things. <laughs> well, just let me show you how. Okay, which way do we go? This way. Okay, I need to create a new home for my little plant gift. Oh, okay, so it sounds like you need to design and create a little pot for your plant over yes. there, right? So, okay, so there are multiple ways to approach this. Mm -hmm. There are a lot of softwares out there that actually you use to actually create uh, 3D printed items. They mm -hmm. can design and print out uh, these kind of designs. But in here, in making it libraries, we actually use uh, Tinkercad. It's a free uh, 3D workspace software yep. that uh, a lot of users use. It's free online, you can actually access it. Uh, similar to like Photoshop or Canva, you can actually put shapes inside and, um, and mess around with it. We actually have it live here, so if you, if you mind, if you take a look over here. Wow! Yeah, so like I said, for example, here I can pull out any shapes that you want. That's, uh, there's a template on the right here. So you just drag it over here and whatever size you need for your pot, you can just customise it over here. And then once you're ready, you can just export it out to your 3D printer. We have some examples over here that yeah. I'll showcase. Um, this is one of the things that we printed. So cute! So I think this is like a unit. <laughs> That's so cute! It's like a unicorn cat. This yeah. is actually um, created by a pink cat as well. Oh. And similarly as well, uh, a vase that you can create. Oh wow! Yeah. Hey, this would be so quite these pretty. are a few, a few examples that you can actually replicate from uh, this kind of software. Nice! So now that you've uploaded the design into the SD card, all we need to do is actually plug it into the 3D printer and it will actually produce the design for you. Just like that? Exactly. So oh. if you look at the screen, it's a touch screen, so you just need to press print. Right uh, you can select the SD card and your design's right there. You can press that and just tell the printer to print. <gasps> and you see, it'll start moving. Where does the material come out from? So the material comes out from the two nozzles, oh. one of the two nozzles, and it'll take a while to print. So whilst that happens, we can actually work on the rest of the project. So okay. shall we go? Let's go. So yeah. many parts in this. So who are the people who come into this workspace? We get a variety of users that come to make it at libraries actually. So I'll give you a, a, a few examples of users. Um, a few seniors who actually came back for a five-week program and actually created this really cool um, Chinese year lantern. Uh, just decorated by LED lights and very cool intricate shapes created by our digital fabrication technology. Nice. Yeah. So, and the second one is actually a guy who came back, uh, he's very passionate about Star Wars. Mm -hmm. He spent two years to actually learn about 3D printing, coding and much more to create this little replica of R2-D2 which actually beeps and moves. Oh! Yeah. That's commitment over two years! Exactly, yep. Oh wow, yeah, that's yeah. incredible. It's, it's amazing, it caught me while I've got as well. And yeah. the last example I'll give you is actually a group of artists and they actually learned uh, 3D printing and all that encoding, robotics and other stuff to actually create an art exhibition in Jurong Regional Library which was showcased to the public. And mind you, they had no um, experience until they came to Mikit Libraries and they started learning about everything and then they just showcased the exhibition out there. Okay, so let's say someone has no idea what they want to do but they just want to play. Can they still come in? 
yeah, no worries. They can come in for our starter sessions, which was engineered specifically for this. Mm. So these starter sessions are actually um, a very simple um, three, three hour sessions of like, for example, 3D printing, robotics and coding and other digital fabrication technology that we offer and make it at libraries. Anyone with no experience or expertise can actually come and learn freely. And then once they are done, they're considered certified and they can move on to actually uh, tinker and pursue their own projects in that kind of space. Fantastic. Mm -hmm. Okay, so now that we've got a house for my plant, we need to figure out when to water it and make it water itself. Okay, so that's quite an uh, easy thing to do. Okay. One of which, first of all, we need something that measures how wet the soil is. Oh, like a sensor? Yes, okay. exactly that. You also need other things, mm -hmm. like this, which is the pump. Mm -hmm. So this will pump the water from the reservoir below the plant to mm -hmm. the plant. Finally, you need the most important thing, which can be like the heart and soul, which is this a microcontroller. Right. So the instructions from this will tell the pump when to pump the water into the plant. What we will start uh, doing is mm. actually show kind of an indication of how uh, when the plant needs to be watered. So as you can see here, there are actually 25 small LEDs which will light up. You can be really far away, but you can see that the plant needs to be watered. I see. And it will water itself, so you know that it's being watered. Alright, so it's just like, oh, for your information, I'm watering the plant now. <laughs> yes, <it>? exactly. <laughs> uh, here at Make It at Libraries, we actually use something called the Microbit, which mm -hmm. is this controller, yeah. and make code. Make code is like a visual programming method mm -hmm. and it actually program things into the controller. Each LED is like a little lamp okay. and you can turn them on and off. So for instance, I can do this and that means that it's turning on. So uh -huh. if I bring another one in, yeah. you can actually see that it'll run the simulation. On the left here, it'll actually show you um, what it does, so you can see that it'll turn on. Oh, I see! So oh. it will just flow through whatever you've been programmed into it, and you can actually try it out for yourself. Nice! Once the code has been done up, yeah. all we have to do is actually just upload it through the USB. Okay. And all we need to do for doing that is just plug this uh, microcontroller yeah. into the computer. Yeah. And then load it up? Exactly. Interesting, so this becomes like the on-off switch for this. Exactly. Right. Okay, we've printed what we needed to print, we have programmed what we needed to program, and now, excuse me, gentlemen, I am going to go off because I have some work to do. I'll be back. <laughs> okay, so I have spray-painted this whole thing. Isn't it pretty? Yeah, amazing. It looks yeah. great. It's yeah. gorgeous. Yes, it's <laughs> gorgeous. Okay, so now we have our pot, we have the water reserve, we have our tube, the sensor, and our switch. So let's put this... Oh, no. I need to fill up the water reserve first. Mm -hmm. Okay, so I'll just add a little bit. Okay. And then we'll put this on. Okay. Ah, it's looking so good. Okay, so put in the tube. Don't forget the sensor. And the sensor, that's right. This is such a good touch. It covers up all the wires. Very nice. Okay, so we put in the sensor. And then... For the finale? The oh yeah, that's right. <laughs> we have to turn it on. So now we yep. just need to plug it in. Okay. And we'll and see if it we'll works. see if it works. Why is it giving me a sad face? Okay, so don't be disappointed. In making, there's a lot of uh, trial and error. Aww. So there, there'll be times where you make it with errors, but you can always circumvent that by going back to your process of making and see where you went wrong. Okay, okay, we try this again. So let's take this, turn this off. Let's go back to the drawing board. Okay, so with some help from Wankin, we have tweaked the code. Now let's see if this works. Fingers crossed. Do the honours. Congratulations, yeah. <laughs> Ta-da! Yes, this is success. Now I just need to figure out how to transport this and bring it to my friend. <laughs> <laughs> but thank you guys so no much worries. for your help today. I think it's so nice to have this introduction to basic 3D printing and coding and also to have something to show for it. Yeah, yeah. So actually, if you want to come down and create more of these customised creations, uh, feel free to come down to our regional libraries where we do have uh, maker spaces from Make It Libraries there. And I can't believe this is all free. I already have a list of things I want to try and make the next time. Sounds good. Looking forward. <laughs> Thank you so much. No worries. 
I hope you enjoyed today's episode of the Library Report. Is there anything that you would like to create and make it at libraries? Let us know in the comment box down below. And also, if you enjoyed the video, don't forget to like it and also subscribe. And hit that notification bell so you'll know when the next video comes out. Bye!